is 923. <laughs> it is Sunday and we are here with one of our favorite guests, Thank Home you. Depot Debbie. Debbie, you are on vacation. Now you are back and yes. you are making a fabulous little joy sign. And this is perfect to hang up really anywhere. It really is. And we started in the first time we showing how to, you know, get the basic uh, board done. And that was with the three planks and we used uh, some one by twos on the back too. Oh, oh, oh. careful, careful. <laughs> this is a moving uh, desk and I am very clutchy. But you handled that very well. I did, I didn't fall so over. So once you get your, and then we color washed it uh, with some watered down paint. And then what I did, I just went online and I Googled a uh, template for block letters. And you can see here, they have different fonts available. And instead of buying stencils, this is something, it gets the size you want, you know, you can get whatever you want, different size fonts. So I just cut that out of the paper. And it's free, you don't have to pay for stencils. It's free. And then put it onto the, centered onto the board. Now I printed out J-O-Y, but you can use uh, different things for the O, which we'll get to. So once you get this here, you're just going to trace onto the board. Uh huh. And you trace all the way around and your Y as well. And then for the center, I just wanted to use um, a wreath of I sorts. And we have these little bell wreaths that would go in the middle, or we have these huge oh, ornaments, that's cool. and this could go in the middle. So different something things. Something fun for the O. Something fun, or you could just paint the O like this. Now once I had these stenciled, I just used some craft paint. Um, I use silver metallic for this one. You could use red or green or whatever, Gold or whatever. color. That's it. Once you get this all done, I just put a little screw here to hang the wreath. And that part is done. Now you can decorate this however you want, put any message you want. But once you get done with that, I want to show what else I did is I added nice. some lights to the back. How did you do this? Now this is, I used double sided tape or you can use a low temperature hot glue gun to uh, stick those on. And then you just go all the way around. This is an eight foot strip. Now this is um, these LED lights at the bottom. You can use holiday lights, but the LED lights actually come with a remote control. Mm. And you can change the color oh. to whatever you want. Green, red, blue. How much does the lights cost? So the lights are about $49, but if you use the, uh, you know, a strand of Christmas lights, um, obviously it would be a lot less expensive. And you don't so necessarily have to even put the lights on there anyway. You do not. And then also to hang it, this is something we were just talking about. It's not new, but it's not something that everybody is aware of. It's called a French cleat. In the store, it's called a picture hanging system. This is for heavy items. You can hang mirrors or heavy pictures or what, uh, any shelving. So what it is, it's used by counterbalance. You put one of the bars on the wall into a stud, obviously, and then one of them comes the opposite direction you put on the back. And then when you go to hang something, it just hangs right on like that. That so, is like mind blown all those times of hanging up pictures and mirrors and I'm like saying a few ch curse words and <laughs> things aren't straight. This makes That's it really easy. Now the trick of this is just to make sure when you're mounting it on the wall that it's level. And then when you're mounting it on the back of uh, whatever you're hanging, it's also level. So when you just slide it on there, it's perfectly straight and you don't have to worry about measuring or anything like that. I love the joy sign and I love you. Thank, Thank you so much, you. From people. Thank Debbie. You. Always good to have you here in studio with Thank us. Thank you.